This is the bassinet from a vintage SEMO stroller that we've been fixing up uh, and we actually have a few videos showing different parts of the process uh, the various things that we're going to do in order to restore this. Uh, this is the uh, bassinet as I said and what we're going to be doing in this video is replacing a couple of buttons that are missing. So these buttons have to do with the storm cover which uh, buttons on like this and then the top flap is supposed to button to the canopy. Uh, but both of the buttons on the inside of the canopy are missing. Uh, the rest of one of them is actually right here on the flap. I'll show you. Just have to get it off. So it's just a basic button and uh, you can buy a generic push button set. I have one right here and we're just going to be replacing this male side of the button then on the canopy on both sides. That's a little bit of a tricky position, but um, we figure that if we lie it on its side, we can avoid removing the entire canopy, provided that we prop up the side of the books. That's what we're going to be trying. So, we're going to need one underneath, and we're going to need to get a book right here so that this can lie flat. And then there's a little uh, metal um, uh, piece in the, in the button kit that will uh, make it nice and hard underneath. There we go and get it right on the edge of that book. So then what we're going to need is this. This uh, metal plate is going to go right underneath so that the button can rest on it. And we're going to need these two pieces of button. This being uh, the male part that connects the other side of the button and this being the back end. I'm going to slide this back end right through the hole left from the previous button and then place it down flat on that metal plate and make sure it's nice and tight on that book. Pop the other end of the button on and then you're going to take your your tool that comes in your button kit and just put it right there on top of that protruding um, little cylinder and then you're just going to hammer it into place. There you go, nice and tight. Okay, uh, we've replaced the buttons on both sides now. So I'm just gonna put this uh, nice storm cover on. Let's see how it looks. And I just wanted to say that uh, this was kind of a thick fabric and it was two layers. Um, in general, when you are replacing buttons, you want to uh, if you have thicker fabric or multiple layers, you're looking for button kits that have a longer protruding uh, poker or cylinder from the one side of the button so that uh, you can get through thicker fabric. Um, if you have multiple options, that is, if you go to a sewing shop or something. But in any case, we've replaced those buttons now and uh, they work just fine. So we hope uh, you found this video helpful. If you have, we ask you to subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. Thank you.